Hello, and this is a video about the British Mark V gas mask. Um, it was issued during the Second World War to British soldiers, um, the police, and the ARP. So I'm just fixing it there. Um, the mask offers a high amount of protection because of the very thick rubber face piece and um, the six point uh, head harness. Uh, the rubber on mine has gone completely solid. There was a piece of rubber sticking out to the side of the mask there. Uh, um, that would be cut open and then you could insert a microphone um, this mask eventually evolved into the um, what was it, the light anti-gas respirator which was uh, used during the latter years of the war and um, uh, probably the early 50s I think um, and that eventually evolved into what we have today, the S10. Um, the mask also features these glass eye lenses, which um, they're held in place by threaded metal discs, which just come out. So you can... Yeah, they do come out, this is quite hard to... But, um, it's so you can replace the... Uh, glass eye lenses inside, that's the disc there. Just pop it back in. Yeah. On the front of the mask you have the inhale and exhale assembly. I think that you have the inhale and exhale assembly. Um, air is inhaled through the bottom here and then it's exhaled through a valve behind this metal grate. The hose is actually quite short but this is because the wearer wore the bag around their neck and you'd keep the um, filter inside the bag. Um, I can quickly show you now Okay, so this is just me demonstrating how you would hold the mask in the bag. You just get the filter and you just put it in the bag, like so. And then you'd wear the mask on your face, but I'm not going to wear it because the filters contain harmful substances such as asbestos. So yeah, you just wear it like that. Um, it's not properly adjusted for me. But um, yeah, you just put it on your face and breathe away. And then at the end of the hose you have the filter itself. Now I wouldn't actually recommend wearing this mask because I think the filters contain asbestos. So I would not recommend wearing it unless you want lung cancer. Um, the mask was made by several different, well, lots of different companies, including Sieb Gorman, Avon, Dunlop, Leyland, and I think it's Seco. Um, and there were more, apparently. I'm not sure <coughs> who made mine in particular. There's no um, marking suggesting who it was made by. Wait, what's that? Um, can't read it really. I know I can see an M in it. That's part of it. So it could be Seed Gorman. <coughs> um, I think these started being issued uh, during the 1940s. Um, mine in particular was issued in. It says on the bag actually. Uh, 1941. Uh, try and get. Let you see that. The top there. Um, you can quite easily get these um, in near mint condition, but mine is in 
poor condition. Uh, you can see the rubber is starting to crack at the top there and in various other places on the mask and the hose and filter fittings are starting to rust. Although I've seen other masks and the actual bit that holds the hose onto the inhale assembly is really badly rusted but mine doesn't seem to be too bad there as I've seen other masks. Um, but this mask um, was used uh, it was my great grandfather's. Um, he was in the ARP. Um, I also have his helmet on my shelf over there. Um, I can show you that in another video. Um, I'll just show you the inside of the mask now. Okay, so the inside of the mask is very simple. You see that big round circle bit? Uh, that's the exhale valve. And then, screw, damn it. Um, I think you can see it. Uh, just there, uh, that's the inhale assembly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the inside of the mask. Um, but yeah, that was the British Mark V respirator, um, Mark V if you know your Roman numerals. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, New videos coming soon. Um, probably the next video will be that helmet I mentioned, just so it kind of fits in the theme with this mask. Okay, once again, thanks for watching. Goodbye.